Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here with CTO of Impress.ai and he's going to explain us his three tips on how a data scientist student can actually tackle problems and also why and how to use AI and in which case is a good idea or not a good idea. So enjoy. Uh, hi, I'm Vaishak. I'm the co-founder and CTO of Impress. Uh, a few years back, I made the transition from being an academic to being the CTO of a startup, uh, an AI, AI startup. And one of the things that's come up quite often, both from my ex-colleagues and from students who have joined us as interns or employees, is how do you make the transition to being a data scientist or an AI engineer in the industry? So in this video, I'd like to talk about three tips uh, or three problems that I've seen the typical uh, fresher encounter. Firstly focus on uh, understanding the problem. Uh, especially in academics or just when you've completed a course, you're typically given a very clearly defined problem to solve. And the majority of your time goes into applying different algorithms, fine tuning the parameters, etc. However, in the real world, the majority of your time, like if you're doing a four month project, three months of it actually goes into defining the problem in the right way. You need to talk to the stakeholders, you need to find out how it's done by existing experts, you need to find out the limitations of the existing solutions. And it's only after this, after you have all the information with you, that you should actually even think about what algorithms to apply to solve the problem. Which brings me to my second uh, tip. The typical data scientist out of school wants to apply machine learning to every single problem that they see. Uh, it's a very powerful hammer, so let's make everything a nail so that we can hammer it in. But typically, you need to actually look at the problem a bit more to know whether to actually apply a machine learning algorithm or it makes much more sense to do uh, something much simpler. So for example, we had this instance where we initially thought that in order to interpret a graph, we needed to make a computer vision algorithm and we accounted for a three month long project. But once we actually looked at things, we realized that there was an API we could call to just get some numbers from it and we did not have to go the whole computer vision route at all. Now, let's say you have uh, define the problem, you know that you have to apply a machine learning, uh, machine learning solution to the problem. This brings me to my third point. You should know your algorithms and their limitations and possibilities uh, very well. Uh, a mistake that a lot of juniors do is, as soon as they see a problem, they want to apply the latest and coolest deep learning algorithm or neural network model with a very large number of nodes. This is not always practical. Uh, deep learning models, for example, have the limitation that they require a large number of data points in order to become useful. And especially if you're a startup like us, you don't have all that data points to start off. So you might want to start off with a simpler model that actually gives the benefits to the client. And later on, when you have data, you might shift to a more complex model. So uh, the end, and it doesn't mean that you're actually uh, getting worse results at all. If you actually know your algorithms, in some cases, you can use much simpler models and get much better results as well. Uh, to recap, the three main points uh, that I talked about. Firstly, spend time on understanding your problem. Uh, it'll pay off in spades. Two, don't think that machine learning is the best way to solve every problem. Uh, have an arsenal of tools and use the one that makes sense. Three, if you have to use machine learning algorithms, remember the fundamentals. Understand what the limitations are and the possibilities of each algorithm and take care before applying one. Uh, that's it. If you have any questions or want to talk further about being a data scientist, feel free to message below this video and I'll be happy to reply. Thank you.